Welcome to My Sociology Mini Lecture 2.4. The topic of this mini lecture is role strain and role conflict. It's a follow up for the mini lectures that cover the topic status and role. We learned that status and role, that status is a social position, and that role. Roles are the expectations associated with a status. Role conflict occurs when the expectations associated with one status is contradictory to the expectation associated with another status. Role strain also involves a contradiction between roles, but in the case of role strain, both of the roles are attached to a single status. Let's look at an illustration to clarify that a bit more. With role conflict, we have two different statuses whose roles are contradictory. For example, suppose you had the status of student with the role to study for an exam tomorrow. And you also had a different status, the status of brother, with a role expectation to attend your brother's, your sibling's birthday party on the same day. Which one do you do? Do you follow the role expectations for student? Or do you follow the role expectations for brother? They are contradictory in this case. And this is what we call role conflict. Role strain is when we have a conflict between, or a, a contradiction between two role expectations, but they're not for two separate status positions. Instead, it's for a single status. As in this example, a working mother may have the role expectation uh, for, uh, for homemaking and caring for the needs of children, spending time with the children at home, and so on, but also have career role expectations, which involve working late, working on weekends, and so on, in order to get ahead in her career. These two expectations are contradictory at times. And since they're both expectations that come from the role of working mother, or from the status of working mother, we call this role strain. So the difference between role conflict and role strain is that in the case of role conflict, there are two different status positions involved, while in the case of role strain, there's one status position involved. This means that sometimes it may be easier to solve a problem involving role conflict than role strain. Because if you're able to disengage from one of your roles in the case of role conflict, then you can eliminate the contradiction in expectations by eliminating one of the status positions. That strategy doesn't work with role strain since you have only the one status position. Once you understand the concept of role, roles, statuses, roles, the different types of status positions, and of role conflict and role strain, you're ready to complete learning activity 2.2, the social identity map. Here's how it works. You want to first put your name in the space provided on the, st on the uh, figure. Then note that there's a space provided for the status. For, for on, on, the, on the single page, there's at least space for 10 different status positions. You may have more than 10 statuses. But you can 
put 10 of them down to do this exercise as an example. So the second step would be to list your status positions on the first line in the box that is provided for status. Note that there's two lines on that box, in that box. The reason for that is that you can also, on the second line, indicate what type of status it is. Is it a scribe status, an achieved status, a master status, and so on. Then in the box that is marked roles, you can indicate what the role expect expectations are for that particular status. And you can see that the implication is that the role expectations are linked to or are tied to the status in the actual graphic. Finally, <clears throat> look at all your status positions and the roles that go with them and decide if there are any cases of role conflict or role strain. If you see any, draw an arrow between the roles that are involved and then label it either conflict or strain depending on which one fits. If you can do this without any difficulty, then you probably understand the concepts of stat status, role, role conflict, and role strain pretty well. This video is part of a series of many lectures by David Strickland in support of the My Sociology textbook.